Hi, this is Diana, your favorite astronaut, and I have some news here as I am getting ready for the eclipse on April 8th, and this is going to be a twice-in-a-lifetime event for me as I already photographed the annular solar eclipse. And I am getting ready. I'm going to be traveling to Kentucky, Paducah, Kentucky, uh, so I can see the uh, total eclipse. And I am bringing three mounts. Uh, one of them, it's going to be, I'm going back into my roots and origins in astrophotography with my DSLR Nikon astrophotography modified camera. And I will be telling you a little bit about the specifications on this camera. But just a few days ago, I received a surprise package from KNF Concept with a beautiful package and it has two things for me to try during the solar eclipse. And for those of you, if you're not familiar with this uh, great company, they have all kinds of lines for photography in solar photography, tripods, cap lenses, all kinds of very cool things. Check it out, KNF Concept. So I got a big surprise a few days ago uh, for me to try their newest solar filter for DSLR cameras. And this one, it's the ND 1 million solar filter, 1 million. It's not going to be 3 millions. Why 3 millions when we can have 1 million? <laughs> this is a 20 stops light reduction neutral density filter. Another interesting feature about this uh, solar filter, it's that it's a 28 layer nano coating, which is a solid no neutral density filter that it's made from high quality optical glass with 28 layer of nano coating, which helps reduce filter surface reflection and the ghosting effectively making it the filter anti-scratch, water repellent, and oil and dust resistant. With accurate light reduction, the filter will help guarantee color fidelity and sharp results and capture details of the sun. I've been waiting for the sun to come out and it's always so cloudy and it's extremely windy, but this is my only chance to do this. So we're just going to test and see um, the filter here. Okay, so we're on. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and point up there. There we are. Let's just try a little bit of focus here, even though that it's extremely windy. Let's just keep going so that now it's focusing on the uh, branches right there. That's a beautiful picture right there. <laughs> That kind of like looks a little bit spooky and I am sure I have a couple of um, spots there of dirt um, and that's probably on the other lens that I need to clean. It's just kind of like more focus on the sun right now or like something like that. Let's just change here F63, uh, 5.6. F5, 4.5, F4, we're getting there, F3.5, 3.2, 2.8, 2 okay, so we kind of like have an idea how this is going to be, and um, it's a little bit difficult because it's so windy right now, let's just go ahead and lower here. 250, let's see. That probably it's about what it's going to happen. And there's a lot of clouds, there's all kind of clouds. So let's see this again. It's changing the settings here again, going a little bit higher into F6.3, 7.1. So I just need to work a little bit on the uh, settings and see what it's going to work for me that day. Don't forget to mark your calendars for April 8th, as this can be a lifetime event. 
the next total eclipse it's going to be in 2044 we don't know that like 20 years from now i uh, don't know about that so i'm going to be sure that i capture this event and i'm bringing three different mounts and one of them it's going to be my nikon 7500 astrophotography modified camera and i will tell you a little bit more about those specifications with my nikon camera i am using my optron star tracker and my knf 254a1 tripod which it's perfect to travel as it is light you can fold it up to 16 inches and it only weighs about 3.5 pounds so this uh, tripod has a lot of features as i am going to show in a little bit seems like kind of like that's where, where we are of course I will do differently on the uh, day of the eclipse but it seems like that f 2.5 somewhere there it's going to be the sweet spot for this this camera and this filter and let's not forget that this is a, an astrophotography modified camera so it gets a lot more light I mean it really it has been modified for that so it's not just a regular <laughs> Nikon camera, but I think I am good with it. And we'll just go into keep working and finding the right settings. But uh, the filter seems to be pretty good. And this is the uh, 77 millimeter, which is the one that fits the rock rocking on lens that I have. and needs to be clean too, so we'll see. Thank you for watching and stay tuned as I have more videos coming up in a few days and one of them is the Comet P12 Ponce Brooks and the Box Galaxy. See you then. <laughs>